Part three, molecular compounds. Molecular compounds are made from only non-metals. So to name molecular compounds, you need to use prefixes to indicate the number of atoms of each element present. You cannot use prefixes to name ionic compounds, only molecular compounds. So the prefixes you need to know is one is mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hexa, seven is hepta, eight is octa, nine is nana, and 10 is deca. So the prefix is to indicate the number of atoms of each element in a compound's formula. The exception is mono is not used in front of the first element's name. Only the second one can have mono. And just like ionic, you change the ending of the last element to ide, not the first one. So Cl2O7 means you have two or dichlorine, notice didn't change the ending, seven oxygens, so hepta oxide, change the ending of the last one. So dichlorine, hepta oxide, two chlorine, seven oxygens. So this first one starts with nitrogen, which is a nonmetal. So we know that this is a molecular compound. The two and the five, you only need to look at the prefixes. Because it's molecular, the numbers only matter for the, which prefix you use. So two nitrogen is dinitrogen, five oxygens, pentaoxide. I'm going to try the next four on your own. Restart when you think you have it. So the next one you have one sulfur, three oxygen. So sulfur trioxide. Notice no prefix with sulfur. Next one we have one carbon and one oxygen. So we don't have a prefix for carbon, but we do for oxygen. So carbon monoxide. In this case we would have had two O's next to each other, so we dropped one of the O's. Next one, we have four phosphoruses and 10 oxygens. So the prefix for four was tetra, 10 is deca. So tetraphosphorus, deca oxide. So again, the prefixes are telling us how many of each of those atoms. And last one, we have two arsenics and three oxygen. So diarsenic trioxide. And remember, we're only changing the name of the second atom. And pause the video and try this one on your own. We should be looking for the prefixes for three and four. Three is tri and four is tetra. So we have tri there, but that's tricarbon. We have chlorine, so that can't be right. We have chlorine on the first one, but that's tetrachlorine. We needed three chlorines, not four. Two is carbon. We don't have carbon. C doesn't have any prefixes, so it must be E. Trichlorine tetraoxide. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. The first thing you needed to do was write the formula for penta nitrogen nonabromide. Penta being five, nitrogen five nitrogens, nana being nine, bromides Br. So that's one molecule. In 
that molecule, I have five nitrogens and nine bromines. So that's 14 atoms. So the answer was D. Pause the video and try these on your own. Restart when you think you have the answer. Notice these are all mixed up from the types that we've covered so far. Iron is a metal, which makes it an ionic compound so we cannot use prefixes. So iron is not in group 1A, 2A, silver, zinc, cadmium, or aluminum, so we're gonna have to use Roman numerals because we don't know the charge of iron. So we look at our chlorine, and chlorine has a negative one. That's a negative three overall, so iron must have a plus three. So that's iron three chloride. Two starts with nitrogen. Nitrogen is a nonmetal, which makes it molecular, which means you need prefixes. So two nitrogen is dinitrogen, five oxygen is penta oxide, and so you get dinitrogen penta oxide. Calcium is a metal, which makes it ionic, but calcium's in group 2A, which means we know the charge of calcium is always a plus 2. So we do not use Roman numerals. We just name it as it is. So calcium chloride. Boron is a nonmetal. which means it's molecular, which means you needed to use prefixes. And so you have one boron, which you drop the mono, and three fluorides, so that's trifluoride. I'm going to pause the video and try this one on your own. Zinc is a metal, which makes it ionic, but zinc's in group 1A, 2A, silver, zinc, cadmium, or aluminum. So we know the charge of zinc is always a plus two. And so we just name it as it is and we get zinc oxalate. NH4 does start with a nonmetal, but it's an H4, which makes it an ionic compound. So if it's ionic, you just name it as it is because we know the charge of ammonium is plus one. So that's ammonium chloride. SN is tin, which is a metal, which makes it ionic. But tin is not in group 1A, 2A, silver, zinc, cadmium, or aluminum. So we don't know the charge of tin. So we have to look at bromine which has a negative one charge. There's two of them, so that's a negative two, so 10 must be a plus two. So 10, two bromide. Nitrogen is a nonmetal, which means it's molecular and we have to use prefixes. So nitrogen trioxide, because we don't have mono for the first element. 